So in this so in this replay, you are going to learn how to create your own shipping labels from home. And how we're going to do so is through PayPal.com. So what So in this replay, we're going to learn so in this replay, you're going to learn how to create your own shipping labels directly from home. And how we're going to do so is through PayPal.com. So what I want you guys to do, if you do not have an account through PayPal, go ahead and set up your account and log in. So once you're logged into your account, uh, this is how it should look. You may be, due to privacy policy, due to some privacy policies, a lot of stuff on your end may look a little blurred out, but you guys should still see the gist of everything. So once you're into your actual account through PayPal, I want you guys to go up to the tools option. The tools option is located right here, and all you have to do is hover your cursor over it and then go all the way down until it says all tools. Once you click all tools, it'll, it'll send you over to a screen that looks like this. And what I want you guys to do, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see an option called multi-order shipping. And it'll be this option here, and it says print, ship, and track packages fast, manage and track shipping in one location. So once you get here, just go ahead and click it. And once again, some things on your end may seem a little bit blurred just because of privacy policies, but you should be able to get the gist of um, So what I want you to do is, so when you are creating a label, you then want to go ahead and say create shipment. So this is how you're going to start off creating a label by just hitting this option towards the right-hand side of the screen. And all you do is hit create shipping. And this is what it will look like. So what you want to do first is, I usually do not input anything in this top portion, but if you would like, you could do so. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way down until it says seller's address. So what you want to do, you want to uh, click the address that you want. So what you want to do is you want to click on the address that you want as the return option for your package label. And once you do that, then you're going to go ahead and scroll down so it says shipping address. And this is where you would input all of your customer's information. So I'm just going to put some default information in there. So we're just going to say our customer's name is Alexis Taylor. And we're going to say her address is 8700 South. 83rd Avenue. And then we're going to go ahead and scroll down to city. And we're just going to go ahead and put a city. So we're going to use a city in Chicago and it's, we're going to put the city Berwyn in there. And then we're going to scroll down to the state that it, it is in.
And then we're just going to go ahead and put the zip code. And then after you type all that information in, you're just going to scroll all the way down till it says continue. And then on this option, this option is where all of your presets are. So if you already have presets, you can click click on this uh, drop box and your presets will come up. But let's say you do not have any presets, you're just going to go ahead and put all of the shipping information that is required into this field. So with Allure 96, we usually just ship out all of our packages through priority mail. And that is this option. But depending on the other options that you can use, uh, will determine which option that you pick. So I'm just going to leave it simple, and I'm just going to use priority mail service one to three days. And then I usually ship all of my packages out in the flat rate envelopes. So I'm going to go ahead and click those. And then down here, USPS tracking is included in all of those options. But if you would like to add signature confirmation, you can do so by clicking that option. And just be aware that when you click that option, it's going to add $2.55 to your ending total. And if you scroll down a little bit more, I usually do not mess with this option, but let's say you wanted to add a little additional insurance to your packages, you can definitely do so here. And just know whatever amount you put in this box will be tagged on to your ending total. But for me, I like to just keep it simple and I do not even bother with that option. So once you input all of those required fields, you're just going to go all the way down until it says create shipment. And then from here, your shipment has been created. But if you would like to create additional labels, you can just hit this option where it says create new shipment. And you can create as many, um, as many other labels as you would like and then pay for them all at once. But just for the purpose of this video, we're just going to go ahead and hit done. So once I hit done, it'll ask me, do I want to review and pay? All you have to do is hit review and pay, and we'll do that here. And then it'll ask, and then this screen will pop up, and it'll just ask you, how would you like to take care of that balance? So right now, our balance is $9.10. So with the option that we chose in signature confirmation, that is how much it would charge to go ahead and ship that item. And then um, right here where it says PayPal balance, it's asking me if I would use, if I would like to use the PayPal money that I already have in my account to pay that balance. But Let's say that I did not want to use that. All I have to do is drop down this uh, tab and all the cards that I have listed within my PayPal account will pop up and you can just choose which option suits you best. So once you get to that point, all you have to do is pay. And then once you pay, all you're going to have to do is just print your label. It's super easy, super simple, and it's such an amazing way to ship labels from home at a little bit of a discounted rate. So yes, I hope this video was very informative for all of the people who watched it. I love each and every one of you. If you guys do have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And yes, I hope everyone is having an amazing day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.